Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, actually, should we get nice and intimate? Like nice and close. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So today, I wanted to make a quick and easy video on just eight, just like eight habits that I've I've actually stuck with and I do on a very regular basis that I know make a big difference. I try to do the 80-20 rule. Apart from the whole like drinking water tip that I don't want to repeat 8,000 times, seriously, drink water. Like, just please do it. Like, it, lots of times you're not even hungry, you're literally just thirsty. And I'll find myself like just drinking, chugging a bottle of water and then I feel so much better. So, uh, just a quick tip, just, to make sure you stay, uh, I stay committed. I drink one in the morning, one at night, and then one when I'm working out, which is already three. And then during the day, just find a time to drink an extra bottle of water. And that's it, four bottles of water, like big ones. That's already three liters of water right there. Just, just do it, just stop thinking and just do it. Okay, second thing I do that takes me literally um, probably like two minutes in the morning and that makes the biggest difference I know my immune system isn't the best so it's the best way especially in times like these to boost your immune system I'll actually show you what I take that way um, yeah you can just like inspire yourself so in times like these you need vitamin C so thank you dad he bought me vitamin c from costco thank you costco so this is just really good for your health you like we physically can't sometimes like absorb that much vitamin c in a day like the amount of oranges and lemons that i gotta eat i mean i love those but you know that's a lot it's just like a good source of antioxidants it's just overall really good for your health so yeah that's number one then cod liver oil i take them in capsules they're really good for like when you're lacking vitamin d and i know like a lot of like cold countries take these because there's not a lot of sun so you know get that good um zinc is also really good to help you like absorb the other vitamins so i take them too and then lastly, uh, vitamin D3. I haven't actually looked this up exactly, but I know it's really good for you. So I'll take that. And if I don't take all of these and I know I'm in a rush in the morning, I just take one multi uh, one multivitamin for women and it has like a lot of stuff in there. So I'll just take that and then I'll just go. At, like if I'm busy and I'm on the go, which 95% I am, but I try to stick to these vitamins okay so now food wise i'm not the best at being committed and eating consistently because i'll literally eat whenever i have food or i can but usually i'll try to eat foods that are rich in antioxidants so any like leafy greens tomatoes olive oil avocado any of those that really will like help me not only stay full but like give me lots of vitamins so that's really good and those actually prevent like heart diseases cancer so just just do it you know just take them and lots of times i literally just for the leafy greens i just put them in my smoothie um i'll put spinach kale that's it oh and still put celery um for fiber and stuff so literally just add these three things add the rest like a banana and other things like whatever you like i'll add frozen berries like strawberries like anything and it tastes so good another way for me to get my greens in would be uh like through salads the only thing i know how to properly make but yeah just like add lots of uh, leafy greens in there add tomatoes cucumbers feta cheese cottage cheese i love cheese add every cheese and then just add like an avocado add in a boiled egg just mix that up together and so good literally and yeah and just add your favorite vinaigrette and honestly that's what i would eat all the time i'm the more i like i i've eaten like this the more i naturally crave i crave like very spicy and sour i like i have a very weird taste but i love like lemons and like spicy food so skin wise um at night you don't need i don't have a, like a very long elaborate skincare routine but at 
make sure I uh, moisturize. I make sure I add a repairing serum, just like a serum so that it like helps rejuvenate your skin. And then in the morning, I add a I add more vitamin C, like a nice vitamin C cold serum really helps for your skin. So those two things combined really help. So yeah. So another tip again for skincare wise, I would say is um, when I take off my makeup, I usually use a cleanser, like a full on cleanser that just helps me take all the gunk and the like junk off my face. And then, then I cleanse my face, make sure it's super, super clean. And yeah, and then I do my skincare routine. I don't use any like makeup removing wipes. I that because they just like tug at my skin and they leave it like blotching very red. And it's not a good look. And they just like, I've read that they, they increase like fine lines and wrinkles and no one wants those. So during the weekend or i'll just pick a day where i won't wear any makeup at all i just need to let my skin breathe like you really need to let your skin breathe for like a full day to make sure that you're not always wearing makeup so another tip would be i when i'm like looking through ingredients what before purchasing a product make sure they're paraben free make sure it doesn't just say natural because natural is very misleading it needs to say organic i look at reviews make sure i'm like well educated on the brand and the product if not on the brand just on the product before i purchase it so so i know more or less what i'm buying and then my favorite tip that like really helps me it's it's a double-edged sword i do this all the time but i hate myself for doing it but um cold water like that applies for like showers or just face so like when i shower i'll use like warm water but then right before i'm done i'll use like i'll do like a minute of like just cold water and it just helps with like my blood circulation and then it also helps me feel more energized and in the morning let me tell you that's the only thing that gets me out of bed it's so hard to get out of bed in the morning so literally i have to just splash like so many times like cold water in my face or i'll just literally just straight up use ice and i'll like put ice everywhere and then it helps like tighten the pores and like close them off so that's really good as well so yeah for hair and lastly for hair now um i don't try to do anything too too complicated first of all i have very naturally very coarse dry like bulky hair so i only wash it twice a week maximum and before i wash it i make sure i um like just do i make sure i do a hair mask but like something very easy and simple i don't like complicate things so i'll use castor oil and then uh, coconut oil castor oil is really good for like hair regrowth and hair thickening and then uh, coconut oil is really good to penetrate for hydration so those two th together are like a game changer so just i do that and then i let it soak it usually just like melts everywhere but it trust me it's worth it it's it's so worth it after because like my hair just stays thick so yeah i do that and then i wash it off i make sure to like wash it shampoo it twice because sometimes the oil are very you know like committed to staying in my hair so yeah um overall i do think that it comes with like a lifestyle just make sure you're not like drinking i don't drink every weekend or i try to eat more or less healthy but these are like my main tips that i do on a regular basis to make sure i'm like healthier healthy ish you know yeah thank you so so much for watching my video i really appreciate it and yeah i can't wait to see you in my next video